children is in my blood. I like the freedom of being my own boss and being out in the woods. I've had memories of gathering sap up here in this sugar place when I was 15 years old. I get a little emotional myself when I start talking about it, you know. We make that syrup, we bought the land, and we put the equipment in the sugar camp. Why should anybody be telling us that the product is not ours to do as we please? In Quebec province, there's about 7,400 farms uh, who are producing maple syrup. And they decided uh, back 50 years ago to sell together uh, as a common group. Modern nature every year is not generous. The price of maple syrup is very variable from one time to another one. So we have to make sure that the market is with a stable amount of maple syrup. Now the market is more stable and value of maple syrup is maybe 20 times more than the value of crude oil. But black market is destroying what we built since about 20 years now. says I'm coming to take the Federation's syrup. I said it's not the Federation's syrup, it's my syrup. They took everything. They didn't left one can for my family. They put security guards to watch over us and watch over the syrup so that we can't sell any. It's crazy. It's just simple crazy. Sometimes you gotta stand up for the truth, you know? We're making maple syrup. It's not drugs, it's not booze, it's not, you know, it's not supposed to be illegal. I can sell my syrup to whoever I want, wherever I want, at the price I want. It should be free market, free enterprise. It's the feeling I have. There was so many decisions from the court saying, no, you're not allowed to do those black market commerce, but they are doing so. What do you do to stop them? Most of the producers in Cape province are very comfortable about the way we are working. It's only a small amount of producers that doesn't agree. They benefit from the promotion we are doing. So why they don't have to contribute? If the Federation harasses us so much that I can't tap them trees and sugar next year, I'm going to have to put a for sale sign up out of the road. I want to see my daughter take over this sugar place. I just hope we can resolve this problem so we can keep on sugaring it. You know, we got to, we got to preserve this. There's just no two ways out of it. I've been born and raised on this property. That's where I wanted to end my days. But right now, I don't know. <laughs> it's very serious for us, but still, you have to laugh about it.